Hey everyone, it is Tuesday and y'all know what that means. Two Minute Tuesday! Let's get ready to rumble! Oh, let's go! And we're gonna start Two Minute Tuesday right now. Jesus said in John chapter 10, verse 27, my sheep listen to my voice, or my sheep know my voice. I know them and they follow me. But there's this mindset or this mentality going on in the church that only specific people in the church can hear God's voice. Only the prophets, or only the pastor, or if you're a missionary, or if, you, uh, if you're if you a seasoned prayer warrior. Jesus didn't say that. He didn't pre-qualify the statement. He said, listen, if you're my sheep, you know my voice. It's not just a promise. It is just a fact. But there's so many in the church that don't experience this, and they've settled for not hearing God's voice as their normal. It's almost like we've traded our birthright for a can of soup. Mmm, noodle soup. And I don't think we should accept this as normal. God wants you to know his voice because when you know his voice, you know his heart. And how can the world know what God's saying when the church doesn't know what he's saying? One of the areas that we can learn to hear God's voice is in prayer. But a lot of times, we take prayer and we just talk. And it's a one-sided conversation. Prayer is never meant to be a monologue. It's always meant to be a dialogue. It's always meant to be a two-way conversation. Like when I have a conversation with my wife, I can sit there and talk and talk and talk. Just me talking without giving her space to talk is not really a conversation. The beauty of conversation is the connection. And this is what we do in prayer a lot of times. We just talk and talk and talk. God, I need you to do this. God, I'm going through this. And Lord, if you can help these people too, in Jesus' name, amen. And God wants to say something to you. But right before he's about to say something, you end it with Jesus' name, amen. 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 God wants to speak to you. And the way you learn his voice, one of the things you can do is be silent, be still. Make time in prayer to listen, to hear what he's saying. I think that's the beauty of prayer. I think when we do that, we start to position our hearts to hear God's voice. But guys, I want to encourage you, don't settle for ordinary. Don't settle for a can of soup. No soup for you. And there's so much more God has in store for you. If this encouraged you, if this blessed you, do me a favor, like and share this video and let, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And listen, if you aren't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, do me a favor, subscribe to it. That would help me so much. Till the next Two Minute Tuesday, blessings. No soup for you.